Do you have any vodka, says Cherish. Yeah, says Raph, in the kitchen. Why? In a typical instance, when Raph lies back to watch a girl climb out of his rumpled bed and pad across the room, it's with such an unconcealed pride that you might have thought he'd assembled her himself. But this time, he's still too surprised by the whole episode to feel like that. He hears the toilet flush. After a mi minute, Cherish comes back with his half-empty bottle of supermarket vodka, sits down on the bed, and takes a swig. Blah! She wipes her mouth and looks down at him. Don't worry, I'm not getting the shakes or anything. It's for the oxytocin. What do you mean, says Raph. I came a couple of times, so my brain's all full of oxytocin. Plus, you wouldn't leave my nipples alone, which was, you know, nice, but that means even more oxytocin. And that'll make me want to pair bond with you and then, like, cry when you don't call. But alcohol messes with hormone release from the hypothalamus and the pituitary. So if I drink something neurotoxic right after we fuck, I don't bond with you so much. It's folk medicine, I guess, but I kind of trust it. Why don't you want to bond with me, says Raph. Not forlorn, just curious. She puts a hand on his lopsided butterfly of chest hair. I'm not saying I don't like you, but I don't want to like you any more than I would have if you hadn't squeezed some hormones out of me with your dick. <laughs> Nothing personal, it's policy. Should I drink some, says Raph. You're a man, so you mostly just get dopamine and some prolactin, not oxytocin. Unless you're a real pussy, I guess. <laughs> it's oxytocin, Raph recalls, that makes your pupils dilate when you're aroused and that helps MDMA work as a truth drug. Isaac, who is Raph's best friend in the book, Isaac once ordered three bottles of a product called Liquid Trust, which described itself on the website as the world's first and only product to attract women by getting them to trust you. <laughs> it was just synthetic oxytocin diluted in alcohol, and you were supposed to spray it on your clothes every morning like a cologne and keep it in the fridge between uses. Isaac was going to use it in a club, a subliminal broadcast on a secret frequency. But then Raf pointed out that unless you were wearing a gas mask, you'd inhale the majority of the liquid trust yourself which would be like trying to date rape someone by putting one temazepam in their drink and five in your own. <laughs> so instead, Isaac sprayed some up his own nose and then spent an hour on YouTube watching conspiracy videos about the July the 7th bombings <laughs> to see if the oxytocin would make him more gullible, but the results were inconclusive. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, take care, Thanks. So Ned hasn't heard this song yet, um, and uh, so with, with this, we're not going to say too much about it, but it's safe to say it's like a ricochet off, and um, the, uh, there's, there's these foxes, as you can tell from the front cover, and uh, so this song is like imagining that you're part of a, a troop of psychedelic hippie foxes um, <laughs> who are serving the community, and I've got this great vision of like a... There's foxes running down and ripping up all the rubbish during the nights, but saying, you know, it's fine, we'll do this for free. It's, it's, uh... Anyway, it's called uh, All the Foxes. Foxes working around the town. We are the foxes working for you. Bring out your boxes before you settle down. We are the foxes working for you. Ooh, That's what we do Don't need to pay us We're happy in our work We are the foxes working for you Running rings round Covers more ground with foxes 
boxes in a big rush, jumping on a night bus. City lights glow like a light show, keeping strange hours, smelling all the flowers. Working for you. Ooh. 